stick. Mastel over there to help out. And gets the lumber back into her hands. Here's RPI pressuring again. Stick saved by Nordstrom. Back to the slot. Shot toward goal and it's tipped in and scored. Good pressure from the engineers and they strike first and it's going to be Taylor Larson on the goal. And it's a 1-0 lead for RPI. Oh, how many block passes? There have been a bunch. And another stick down as McLeod loses the lumber and here comes RPI now. Left wing side, drop pass, shot toward goal, saved by Nordstrom, and it trickles in. A 2 0 lead now for RPI with 4.44 to go on a strong rush coming down from the left side. And getting the goal for the Engineers is going to be Isla Chaffee. Yeah, Chaffee picks up the rebound after the shot from Trinkova. Another shot by Hustler, and again, same trajectory off to that right side. For Beek, over for Hustler, shoots and scores! Finally breaks through, and the Saints get a power play goal and cut the lead in half, two to one. Saints not able to get any good luck. This time it was tipped in front, and the Saints tie it up. And I wouldn't be surprised if this one's looked at, Matt. Potentially a high stick, but I think it's gonna be okay. Tori Verbeek with the double tip there. Hustler got a stick on it, it flipped into the air. Here we see it, and then Verbeek gets the second tip. 1.18 to go. All St. Lawrence here so far in this period. Jeffries with it. Segetti, high shot off to the right. Plus their first two, back to Segetti. Off for Jeffries now, left circle. Centering pass, tipped in, and the Saints score! Another power play tally as... I think it's Allie McLeod. No, I thought, it was McC I thought it was McLeod, but she told Jeffries to go. So yeah, it's going to be Jeffries here. So let's look at it. Nonetheless, the power play goal. And cleared away again. Wilson's still out there. Pass sent up ahead. Ball can't control. And now a break for Papano. Papano centering pass. Shoots and scores. Bailey's going to tie it up. Not a beautiful pass from Papano. Yeah, turnover leads straight to the goal as Papano and Bailey come in on the two-on-one. Here we see Papano with a feed over to the left side. Bailey hits the far post and in, and we're all tied up with 7.55 left in the third period. For the engineers. Let's see if Lawrence can extend it. Freshman forward, will attack, takes a shot, and she scores! Over the shoulder of Lawrence. And the Engineers take the shootout here from Appleton. Well, like we said, Matt, it goes down in the record book as a tie, but certainly a big boost for the Engineers skating away with a two with a two to one win or two zero win in the shootout in a three three tie. Uh, you know, this is a team that 